Hello, welcome to brief overview of our bachelor's project on gate analysis for person identification. The project covers the domain of machine learning, artificial intelligence, biometrics, surveillance, and medical. Before starting with the workflow, I'd like to introduce the topic a little further. Psychology suggests that each person can be distinguished and recognized by their gate signatures. The term gate refers to the way of walking. Gate recognition is future of biometrics where the existing technologies such as fingerprint and iris requires human interaction. GATE makes this process interaction. The poster shown here is brief representation of our complete system. Starting with our abstract, walking pattern represents lot about a person. Right from the age of person to his or her mood or the task at hand, who the person might be. GATE analysis is used for video surveillance and biometric authentication because it can be done from distance without Having a high resolution, that is, low resolution camera is sufficient as the body composition is not completely lost with video resolution and distance. Secondly, what's our objective? We all have heard about technology advances in face recognition, faster fingerprint scanners, and other biometric systems. Though all these systems perform well, they are quite invasive in some nature. We propose this system to prove that gate is variable alternative to another person identification task and can be deployed with current systems. In proposed system, we try to overcome the limitation of the existing system. Before diving into algorithm, allow me to explain the image preprocessing steps. We need to make sure that the model is learning the gate cycle and not any other features such as the face, hair color and other such features. To do this, we follow three step filtering process. The first step is to subtract the background of the image done at pixel layer subtraction and then the second step is to apply mock transformation to track moving object in the frame that is the person itself. Lastly, we apply threshold to filter out the person and obtain his or her silhouettes. The algorithm used here is exactly what the architecture is depicting. Let's take a look at the architecture shown here. We start with the video frames converting into silhouettes and then pass it to the inception net to extract the feature of each frame and stack them vertically. We are using 40 frames by setting an offset time and skipping the frames so that the problem of occlusion is solved and simultaneously we get a complete gate cycle. The resultant is 40 by 2048 matrix which is passed on to the LSTM model which, which identifies the temporal relation between the frames and outputs a prediction which is probability distribution out of which we extract top 5 classes as shown in the output. This has lot of significance in medical field. We use the KCIB dataset which consists of silhouettes of 124 people walking with 6 instances of each person. These videos were shot at an angle perpendicular to walking direction of the person. The video resolution is 320 by 240 which is on the lower end but we have achieved an accuracy of around 82% which is enough to prove that this system should work in real life setting with some tweaks to the algorithm. In conclusion, we are presenting a stepping stone towards many other developments in the field of medical diagnosis and video surveillance by making use of spatial and temporal features associated with the walking pattern of a person. Now, let's take a look at everything we have gone through until now in our demonstration. This is a demonstration of our project. While working with large number of frames, the GPU can be bottlenecked because of its VRAM. So let's run the model on cloud using Colab. The dataset selected for training and testing is KCRB. The input contains a background file which is image of a background without a person. The second file is named test.avi which is a video file to be recognized. The current system considers only a single person in a frame. As we have both of our input files ready, let's move on with the system. Google Drive is mounted on this Colab instance. The highlighted syntax loads the trained inception v2 model from the drive itself. Let's take a look at preprocessing part of our project. The highlighted function extracts the frames on the video and then the extracted frames are converted into silhouettes. Silhouettes here can be referred as a contour of a person. We'll take a look at silhouettes which are extracted in later part of this video. The highlighted line extracts a 2048 dimensional feature vector for each video frame. We have reduced the number of frames to 40. The result of these steps output 40 vectors which effectively has shape of 40 by 2048 which means 40 rows for 40 frames and 2048 columns for features as each image has 2048 features. And then the final block of code uses defined LSTM model and loads the train weights from the Google Drive. The output predictions are then stored in list. 
the top 5 predicted classes stored in the list are then displayed as a final result. This ends the system pipeline. Now let's take a look at output and working of our code. Here we can see the 5 classes that are predicted by the system. The first one that is 6 is the correctly predicted class for the given video. We can also observe that a new folder named test has been created by the system. This file contains silhouettes as we have discussed earlier. Now let's take a look at generated silhouettes. After taking a look at this silhouette, we can observe that background is removed and person body contour is marked. 40 such silhouettes are generated. Now let's take a deeper look at pre-processing stage. Each frame has been pre-processed by the following steps. First, subtracting the background. Second, applying the threshold. Third, Converting the color image to monochrome image as this step help us to save bandwidth in real-time application Along with these techniques mock subtractor is used to subtract background by Considering objects which are in motion and that ends our demo, but there might be a question Why five classes and how is the five classes good result? Well in medical application, it's necessary to know how model has come to end decision in a single class prediction model, finding the reason for that prediction is difficult. By multiple classes, the doctors or specialists can cross-examine as to why those five classes have been predicted. In security application, when the number of people recognized is less, then it's easier to make single class prediction. That is, the number of people should be less than 10. That's all. Thank you for listening. If you are watching this on YouTube, please check description for our research paper. Have a nice day.